Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our camshaft position sensor. That's going to be located on the driver's side of your engine. Pretty much directly behind your coil pack and your power steering reservoir. To remove this, if you were to look along the top of the sensor and the wiring, you're going to find a little clip. You just want to go ahead and press that down. Once it's down, you can press this towards the center of the engine. Once you have that off of there, just give the wiring a quick inspection. If you see any funny colors, it's probably corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. Let's continue on to our one seven millimeter headed bolt. Inspect your hardware as you remove it. Replace it as necessary. Now I'm just going to carefully spin this to try to break it free from the engine. After it's broken free, I'll continue carefully trying to pry it up and away from the valve cover. Be very careful not to damage your valve cover in any way. There it is, friends. Now that we have that out of there, let's continue on by cleaning the hole in the valve cover where the cam position sensor needs to be installed. Okay friends, it's time to get ready to install our camshaft position sensor. It's a good idea to put a little bit of lubricant along your O-ring. Let's go ahead and slide this into the valve cover, line up the bolt hole, start it in there, then snug it up. Now, as you can tell, trying to fit a torque wrench into this area is pretty much impossible because of the intake sitting directly above it. All you want to do is just go ahead and make sure that this bolt is nice and tight. Keep in mind it's a small bolt and you don't want to break it off into the valve cover. Now, once you have that tight, continue on with the wiring. You want to make sure that you have the metallic clip facing up. We're going to go ahead and slide this in, listen for a click, and make sure once it's locked in, this metal clip is in the upright position. There's our click. I'm going to give it a tug, and then I'm going to give it a look to make sure the clip's properly installed. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and start up the engine. Let it run for a little while. Make sure you don't have a check engine light, and then take it for a road test. Thank you for watching.